All right. So we've picked it up after Haruki says. <sighs> and then he thinks. Overwhelmed by the roaring applause, I let out a deep sigh of relief. A miraculous, no-miss performance. There's still the last song, but I've passed the biggest hurdle. But... <sighs> the bassist is finally at peace, even though it's her playing that was all over the place. Oh. The vocalist overflows with emotions, looking at me with tears in her eyes. You should be responding to the audience's cheers, not looking at me. <sighs> hey, Takahiro. We've heard this song somewhere before, haven't we? <sighs> Takahiro, snap out of it. Oh, you're so noisy, Mom. Be quiet for a bit. Well, you're kind of annoying yourself, buddy. What are you saying? Everyone around us is a lot more noisy. I think I'll take up guitar. <laughs> Alright then, you can buy one for yourself if you get a part-time job. The road ahead is rough. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing with his voice. I think only a few people noticed it. But the way we performed the second song was worse than even some of our practice sessions. And I know I just turned that up, but I just... It's tough for me to concentrate when it's so loud. So yeah, I think only a few people noticed it, but the way we performed the second song was worse than even some of our practice sessions. Especially just before my solo part. It wasn't me either, but Toma's bass and Setsuna's vocal. Both of them were looking at me, shouting random things. If someone were to listen carefully, it would have sounded awful. When you look at it, my performance was the best. I never even imagined this kind of outcome. But... I wonder what made them put on such happy expressions. It feels like they have no regrets. Was it really that surprising for me to pull it off? So much that they're not even worrying about their own mistakes? <sighs> These two. I wonder just how little faith they had in me. Hmm. I wonder just how worried they were about me. Well, this is no time for me to be all sentimental. This next song will be our last one. After letting out everything, I feel something touch my cheek. I turn to look and see a small fist in front of me. Behind it, I see Toma's face, looking at me with a teasing smile. Uh, this is in the anime, if I remember right. This song is... I'm pretty sure that most of you here are unfamiliar with it. Kitahara, that was pretty great for you, wasn't it? I can't tell whether that smile is supposed to convey care, 
praise or a tease, but it's definitely an honest smile, straight from the heart. I'm sure none of you will recognize it. This is an original song that we just finished yesterday. But as expected, the smile only lasts a moment. Leaving me dumbfounded with no response, she goes back to her keyboard that she'd left alone for five minutes. We only had a day to practice, so I don't know if it'll go well, but... The lips that were smiling just now are back to the usual again, and the gallant Toma Kazaza is ready to continue. That cold expression tells me everything I need to know. But until the very end, I'll sing and enjoy it from the bottom of my heart. Everyone, please, listen. Here we go. It's the last spurt. I don't know when this instrumentation is going to start. Like, I want to make sure I save before it. Its title is... I, maybe I've just heard that song. So maybe that's the next song they're going to sing. I know what the end of that song was. Um, maybe that's Powder Snow? I'm not sure. I think that was Yuki Morikawa and um, Rina Ogata's last song together. But uh, I'm not sure. Um, the bit at the end was, I still love you, which was from that song. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we'll hop back in there. I just had a translation note that said, pay attention to the BGM here. So I was just listening to it to see if it's anything I should know or not. So Haruki says, you're still playing it, huh? That's What we did there was a little more than an after-meal exercise for me. And here I am, completely beat. You weakling. Just like before, I sit down backwards on a chair, 
leaning my shoulders and chin against it, bearing with Toma's gentle abuse. It's over, huh? Sorry. And she says, oh, so he says, it's over, huh? And she says, it was scheduled to end at 3.30 p.m. from the beginning anyway. It went pretty well, huh? I'm not really satisfied. Only the beginning was very good. Even so, it's a success. We're a big hit, huh? It feels like we've insulted the muse of music. You're pretty serious about this, huh? <laughs> the performance wrapped up with overwhelming cheers from the audience. Still, in a quiet daze, we quickly tidied up the stage and prepared to climb off of it. As if hiding our embarrassment, we gave the audience one last awkward bow and left the stage. All that, just some half an hour ago. It was such a great success, I can hardly believe how successful we were. Where's Ogiso? Weren't you with her? Ioにつれて行かれたよ。今から昨日の穴埋めでカフェの接客だって。Ah, <laughs> uh, Io took her. She needs to make up for her absence from yesterday over at the cafe. Ah, Io took her. She needs to make up for her absence from yesterday over at the cafe. Ah, Io took her. She needs to make up for her absence from yesterday over at the cafe. Still wearing that outfit. I thought the theme was Taisho Romance. I guess the stage outfit is more popular right now. Right after her dazzling performance on the stage, everyone seems to want to hear her say, Welcome back! Just for them. It's just an hour. The super limited service shop will close uh, in, a, in a, just an hour. I don't even want to imagine the lines there. I feel sorry for Ogiso. You really feel that way? She's still in that outfit, so exposing herself to boys from such a close distance. Ugh. Must be torture. Then again, Toma. Right now you're being looked at by a boy from really up close, too. Mm -mm. Despite her cynical remarks, she had plenty of time to, cha to change herself. Just like she did on stage, Thomas still wearing the outfit. Why didn't you change? Because it's a pain. Aren't you cold, though? Of course I'm cold. It's almost the end of autumn, after all. I bet you've taken a liking to that outfit. Isn't that right? <sighs> oh, shut up. Why do you have to split hairs of everything, Kirahara? Even back when we first met you. And that's exactly why I can be with you. Toma, because I didn't do anything wrong. <sighs> Just shut up. With Toma's murmuring and the noise from outside the window, 
I feel myself slowly fading away. You fell asleep while listening to my piano again. As I snap out of it, I realize that my chin isn't in the proper resting place, and that I just doze off. Uh, 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 like I said, your piano playing is so amazing, Toma, that it emits alpha waves and... <laughs> Aww. That reminds me, I've only gotten about an hour of sleep in these past three days. It's impressive that I've held out for this long. If you do that while I'm in a contest, I'll hit you. Does that mean you'll always be watching my seat in the audience from the stage? I'm just joking, of course. But are you serious about entering contests again? So. Who knows? Until recently, when Toma was talking... Or, excuse me. Until recently, when talking about the piano, Toma always used the past tense, with some minor variations in expression. Perhaps when she decided to stop playing, there was a side of her that didn't really want to stop. Even if it's her problem, no, I'm just as happy as if it were my problem. I'm happy for her, even though I don't just I don't know just how good she truly is. Simply because I'm a fan of her piano. Nah. Hey, a contest would be great for you, of course. But what I'd really like is for the three of us to do something like this again, if we find the time. After barely pulling off this tightrope trial, you still haven't learned your lesson, huh? Besides, isn't it time for you to be deciding your future? That's why... Oh god. That's why, after graduating, I want us to get together again. This time, for the University Festival. <sighs> Toma, what will you do about university? Will you be going to a music university after all? Somewhere in the capital, maybe? I have my graduation to worry about before that, you know. Even after we graduate, I hope we can keep seeing each other. Oh. Mm -hmm. Did I say it naturally? I want us to keep being together forever. That's ah, no good. Even though I'm expressing it as naturally as possible, what I'm saying is really unnatural. You're going to Hoji University together with Ogiso, right? Setsuna, too. She wants to be together with you forever, too, Toma. Does she really feel that way? Don't you, Toma? I... I wonder... 
Usually, Toma denies something like this confidently. It's not like her to give such an ambiguous answer. Aren't you having fun? Together with us? Thus, the words that came out of my mouth are akin to sleep talking. Toma, Setsuna, and me, Haruki. Isn't it great when the three of us are together? <laughs> I'm feeling so sleepy. And this is nothing more than sleep talking. I'm enjoying myself and having so much fun every single day. I know that because I'd never say something as stupid as this if my brain were working properly. The way I've been recently, you know, from the other guy's point of view, I must seem like the luckiest guy alive. I've used up a lifetime's worth of luck. By now, so I'm sure it'll all come back to bite me in the ass later, sooner or later. No, stop it. Just fall asleep already. There's a translation note here, but I don't want to read it, because I don't know if it'll be spoilers. But that's not actually happening. Yet at the same time, it's more than enough for me. If I don't, the unreachable flower, whom I always adored, moved by herself and came down to my level. Oh. I'll just say a lot more stupid things. It'll all spell out. And the person whom I've always admired and wanted to become friends with finally came to a mutual understanding with me and became a true friend. So she's the flower, and I'm just a person, huh? Yeah, ka. You don't like it? There's no way I wouldn't like it. There's no way it wouldn't be fun. There's no way it wouldn't be enjoyable. You can't even tell that much without asking, can you? If that's the case, show it through your expression. There's no way I could tell looking at that poker face. What's wrong, Toma? Why are you shivering? It's cold. I see. Winter's right around the corner. Huh. Yeah. It's the season of White Album.
Dang you, Haruki! <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It just, you can tell that there's, like, expressions. Like, there's a lot of things going on in the scene, but nobody's, like, expressing things in a good enough way. Like, their feelings don't get through because... Even Haruki is, like, kind of twisting his speech to include Setsuna in, like, I don't know. I don't really understand. He said that uh, Kazuza was a person, but Setsuna was a flower. And obviously that kind of throws Kazuza off a little bit. But I don't know. Um, this scene is pretty pivotal. And there'll be some more stuff coming up um, in this next part. So uh, this is where we're going to stop for today. And we'll continue with the next part in the next video. I'm curious. Well, I won't say anything more. I guess that's it for this episode. So in the next one, we'll see what happens. You know, did, did Haruki go to sleep? It seems like he did. So we'll find out what happened. Bye.